Welcome back, guys. Weekly update. Um, I've been painting the wife's house for the past four days. It is now Wednesday. And there's the orchard for La Hassan. Now I'm having a problem with this pond. Uh, Marksman definitely came up with a good idea of this actually probably should be brown. Um, and it should actually be here. So I'm fighting myself whether or not I should stay with the AFX original model mold and leave it the way it is or cover this up and place it there. But I don't know. I'm, I'm just... I mean, authentic wise, it should be here, but model wise, I don't know whether I should keep it there or not. I, I'm, I'm not sure. But, um, it's just about done. I'm also debating on whether I should fill these holes up, cut the, um, cut the pegs off here and here, cut those pegs off, and then fill these gaps and do that uh, we'll see I don't know um, so I moved it to the table over here by my window and um, used to place the soldiers that are already painted and I still got my uh, my British cavalry that I have to paint um, I'm actually in the process now of finishing up my codices, right? So, um, I have to do the reins. I'm doing black manes, black tails, and this will be the first squadron. And the other ones probably be different colors. So I'll do a squadron colors. Um, tenth light hussars for the Brits. I just started here. Um, I'm working on the King's German Legion here with the green uniform and then with the red uniform. Uh, the 95th rifles are right here. So I'll be working on these guys here. Um, I found my Napoleonic Command here. I think these were all the old foundry miniatures. So what I need to do is I need to base these guys up and play with these a little bit and get them going. And see how they work out. Oh, yeah, okay. So I'll be working on these guys. I can get them to stand. I think this guy just keeps. Yep. Score. I'll throw him over there. Uh, so that's what I'm working on right now, guys. Um, I picked up two more books. I'll show you what these are. Um, Regiments at Waterloo, Volume 2. Regiments at Waterloo, Volume 1. Volume 1 is the French Army Uniforms. Volume 2 is British Army Uniforms. These are by René North. And it's in the Alamark Public Publication Company. And these were 1977 revised second edition. So it shows the French Army. This is the French Army book. And we have line drawings. brief description on the soldiers and then we got the color plates 
you know I love the color plates. I don't mind the black and white line drawings, but when it comes to the um, the plates, that's that's what I like the best. Um, You know, the Carabineers, we have uh, the, the Queen's Dragoons, the Polish Lances, and some Hussars and Chassors. And same thing over here, we got some Hussars, some Dragoons, Lances. Actually, that's a Lancer. We have the infantry. So these are pretty these are pretty neat little books. I got them for cheap. I mean they were like seven bucks. So I paid like fourteen bucks. Uh shipping was like four bucks or five bucks, so uh, I got the both of them for like twenty odd something dollars. And then here we have the Order of Battle, the French Army, June eighteenth, eighteen fifteen, which is pretty cool. You can always utilize that stuff. Um so it's actually not a not a bad book. I, I actually, I, this is pretty cool. I like this one. And the British is awesome, too. Um, I love the covers. The covers are pretty neat. Now, this is Volume 2 of the British Armies. Rene North, as well. And this was, again, revised, second edition, First published in 1977. And we go into the Household Cavalry. Dragoons. Light Dragoons. Hussars. Artillery. Foot guard, infantry of the line, Highlanders, and then we got the color plates. You go back into black and whites, with more color plates. GL right there. KGL right there. And we got Brunswickers right there. Can't wait to paint these guys. They're gonna be so cool. These uh yeah guys, they're gonna be sharp. And then we're going into the artillery. It looks like Nassau, yep, the 20, yep. Belgian, no? Dutch, right there. Then we have Dutch, Dutch artillery, Belgian carabineers, and we've got First Brunswick infantry. Recruitments, covers, backpacks, 
ammunition bags, or a pouch, sabers or swords, shoulder markings, these are company, company uh, colors for their covers, for their hats, their shakos. Hmm. Not a bad book. So I, I, I made out with this too, so. I mean, there are some great deals on Amazon and eBay if you if you can find. Here we have Order of Battle for the Anglo-Allied Army of June 18th, 1815. The Army makeup. So not bad. Not bad. Um, I wanted to see. I think I did. I took the book home. Uh, I don't know where it's at the lady's place. Mm hmm. Yeah. All right. So, oh, what we're looking at now is, um, put you here. No. So, that's what we got for the update. Um, I'm going to finish up with the curiouses. I'm doing the um, doing the leather gear now. So I'll be finishing up these guys. And I got my 10th light hussars I got to finish up. I'll be doing the uh, KGL and the 95th. And then uh, I might take a stab at doing the 48 scale. Um, I'm sorry, 48 scale. The uh, I'm, I'm thinking 148 with the military, the tanks and stuff. But the um, the 28 scale for the um, La Hot Saint set made out of wood. So I'll start building that. See how that goes. But uh. That doesn't look too bad, the, um, uh, Saint right there, it's looking pretty cool, um, so that's it guys, that's what we're looking at. These are my 28 millimeters. And uh, giving those guys a go again. So basically that's what that's what's happening. That's, that's where we at right now. Let's see if we can get a better view on the British line here. I do love this hobby. Guys, thank you for your uh, input, and uh, I will catch you all later on the next uh, on the next update. So, but uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I really don't, and whether or not I, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna. If I wreck the roof, then I'll probably get rid of that. But I'm debating because I've got the 48 scale. The wooden one, so I might I might play with that. I might leave this original just the way it is, and that's it. Be done with it. All right, guys, uh, have a good one, and I will catch you later. And uh, peace. Take care, and uh, happy wargaming. And I'll see you later. Ciao.